Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I've decided to come outside into the forest again. Last time I was out here, I had some more stuff I wanted to test and show you guys, but if you saw the last video, you saw I ripped my pants in the crotch, and <laughs> I don't think that would have made for good, <laughs> good video. Then again, maybe it would have. So I want to show you guys this. This is the Helco Werk Axe from Germany. And what I have is a nice buckle style uh, axe mask and then a nice shape with a good weight um, so I know Swedish axes are huge uh, everybody loves Swedish axes they've got a long history of quality craftsmanship um, I have a small you might have saw in the last video I have a very small little Gransfors kind of for around camp to work with after doing our last can we survive trip you know I was chopping with my big knife and carving with my other knife and I thought man you know I never I never really thought it would be useful tool but in that in some situations where you're carving chopping doing some little stuff around camp I think it would be a pretty neat little hatchet so I, I picked that up and I'm gonna use that in in some of the upcoming videos it's very, very comfortable. It's so small, but it's very comfortable uh, handle. And then my other axe is obviously the Husqvarna, which you guys have seen, and I love that axe. The only issue I have with it is the length of the axe is like 24 to 26 inches. It's very long, and it's got a light, small head on it. Uh, it was my first uh, axe that I purchased other than ones that I had like laying around in the shed as I was growing up. Um, that was my first uh, better quality axe that I bought. And what I found was it's good, but it's also not good for some situations. So what I wanted to try out was uh, an axe that's not too big. So this axe here is actually shorter. This is only about a 20 inch handle or so. I think it's somewhere between 19 and 22. And then it's got a two, over a two pound head on it with a wider, wider axe head. It's king. I got this nice leather uh, handle protector, which on my other ones I made myself out of baseball glove, which was pretty neat. But this this you could get pretty nice, and it's it's obviously because of the the length very manageable. But it's got some real weight to it, to where I think I could do better processing of wood around camp for fire starting. And it's got a nice crown on it. Axe mask is pretty good and it, you know the thing about this is though when you hold this versus the other one this feels I mean it is much heavier it's a, it, the head alone I think is at least a pound heavier and the handle is shorter but a little bit fatter a little bit better in my hands you know an, a bigger hand this thing really so I'm gonna put this thing through some through its paces over Oh, I don't know, the next four months or so. Uh, when we get into summertime, there's not so much fire action going on. <clears throat> so, won't be processing as much wood then. But, you know, into as long as I can. Friend turned me on to this. You know, I'm thinking, you know, I was looking at the Swedish axes and everything, like the Gransfors, or there's Halters. There's, there's a bunch of different brands. But I thought, hey, you know, this is a German axe. I never, I had never heard of it. I had never heard of this German axe. So I wanted to give it a try.
So I went through a little bit of wood and so far what I can tell you is I really enjoy using the little bit heavier weighted head on this. Um, I'll see if I can remember to put the specs and the model in the description for you guys because this is over two pounds I believe and I want to say it's almost two and a half but hard to, hard to say. But I can tell you one thing, it's a lot easier and a lot more controllable than my Husqvarna because it's such a long, small, lightweight head. This is a little bit more compact, wider, heavier head. It's like when you're using a sharp knife versus a dull knife. You realize that a sharp knife is, you know it's gonna cut through you know how much effort you have to put. Where a dull knife, you're not sh exactly sure what it's gonna do. You don't know how much to push or not push on there. That's why they always say a dull knife is way more dangerous than a really sharp knife because you don't really know what to expect from it. And with the different in the, the weight, it, it feels like the same idea that is very expectable, very repeatable uh, performance out of this heavier head here. I like it so far. Now, I've barely used it, you know, bear with me on this. I'm gonna have it out with me on adventures and stuff, so it should be fun. I think, um, you know, I like to do, I like to do some initial uh, feeling on it. Most of my initial feelings are, did I, did I make a stupid decision in a purchase? I, it goes that way with any gear any pieces of your kit, uh, you know, guns, um, all kind, whatever I, whatever I end up purchasing for something like this, I will go out and a lot of people say, well, you don't know till you try it a long time. Totally agree. But your initial feeling on it, was this a bad purchase or was it a good purchase so far you know you get that initial feeling my initial feeling is that I think is a good purchase um, I, I really like the length and I really like the weight um, I love I like the shape of it I'm sure that this is a uh, some sort of traditional shape with a name I just don't know what that is but so far pretty nice very nice handle perfect for my hand like I don't feel you know sometimes you can feel a hot spot because you have to grip too small or too big um, obviously it's it's ultra smooth but it's it just feels like the right size for my hands Well, I want to thank you guys for joining me out here. I, I was doing a bunch of B-roll. I even made a kind of a behind the scenes where I talked a little bit more about what I've been doing, especially out here. I walked back to my Jeep, did not realize that it's time. It was time 20 minutes ago for me to leave and go to work. I gotta go to work, gotta do some stuff, but another glorious few hours out in the forest. Uh, again, this is such a perfect time of year. It's 50 degrees out, there's zero wind, I've got a light jacket on, I probably could have just been wearing my t-shirt, but this, there's clouds, so the sun isn't overwhelming today, there's no wind, the birds were, they were just going off earlier, they were chirping, I was trying to get, hopefully I got some uh, of the audio of the birds chirping. I uh, heard a woodpecker in the distance sound like a machine gun. Brrr, it was the, it's the weirdest thing because you'd hear bird, 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 bird. That's a perfect description of what I was, <laughs> what I was hearing. All right, guys, I have got to beat it. I got to beat feet. I got to get out of here. I got a couple of miles to go on these little forest roads to get out of the forest to the main road and then about uh, 10 miles back to the house. And I should have been there right now already. So. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, you guys.